What's going on people? Welcome back to another video of John Sinclair TV. Tonight I'm going to talk about James Madison again because there's been quite a few latest as well from the Bits of Romano and also by Amy Wilson as well. And before I talk about James Madison, make sure you smash the likes please and also subscribe as well to my channel and it's going really well. And if you like the super chat then you know what to do and you'd like to become a member you know exactly what to do as well and also check out all the other contents i have done as well from lavia cucurella and others as well right go back to james madison yeah according to fabrizio romano right on this tweet a day he said a newcastle will insist on james madison deal this week as they don't want a long saga he's our top target but decisions has to be made soon and tottenham on the other side who's also been linked with james as well said Tottenham are also working on player side, still pushing and into the race. No bid was submitted last week, despite reports. Now, he said that Tottenham have made any bid. Newcastle, they made a bid before around 40, 45 million quid. That got rejected. And Leicester are asking close to 60 million quid. Now, the reason Leicester want close to 60 million quid, because they feel that Declan Rice and Mason Mount are worth between 80 and 90 million quid. Yeah, and they feel that they can get 60 million for James Madison as well. And I think Leicester needs to be very careful here because this is getting boring now. I've got to be real, yeah? And also, Leicester have to realise they're a championship team, not a premiership team now. They got relegated, yeah? Yes, Madison scored 10 goals and 30 appearances this season, 9 assists. I think that's fantastic for a poor side. I can't lie. But... The guy is getting a bit frustrated because he wants to move back to the Premier League because he's not going to sign a new deal. He's got 12 months left on his contract and he just wants to know what's going on. And this is the thing, because we know he's a talented player. We know that. He scored goals, we know that. And can pass and make efficient as well. We know that. However, right, this has just gone too long. It's just been like a saga. We cannot waste time on this guy to whatsoever, like the bit sort of said. We need a decision by the weekend. And if we don't get a decision by then, then for me personally, we just have to walk away because this is, we cannot afford to waste time on one player. There's other players we can look at as well. Sobersly is one of them. Burella, possibly. Would I be selected? I've got no idea. Probably not. Or you can go for a younger player called Ardu Gula from Verabachi, who's had a breakout season as well. 20% appearances, four goals, four assists by the 18-year-old Labour asked the Turkish Messi. And also, when Amy Wilson said, I'll read it out as well, it is in fact understood the valuation is closer to 60 mil. City will look at the sort of fees being touted for the likes of Declan Rice and Mason Mount as a benchmark and feel the fee is fair for an England international who has recorded the Premier League numbers he has over the last two seasons. Now, Newcastle fans, I'm not going to lie, are not in agreement with some take to social media to give their thoughts and i tell you what i read one or two walk away from the madison deal like chance getting them for now next season got a right back starting ahead of him for england so he ain't that good and someone else said less than 50 mil for madison what they need to be real about is they are relegated rightly so and lose him for free next summer he's 100 percent not signing a new contract every window his transfer fee decreases and they lose leverage. That's the mouth of the time, by the way, people. And he's right. But the thing is, right, I think Leicester are playing a very dangerous game here because they want to make as much money as possible, yeah? So the longer this goes on, the money just decreases, the value decreases, and they're not going to see 60 million quid. So they need to be very careful, Leicester. They really do. For me, I've followed this guy of 40 million quid, and that is it. No more, no less. 40 million, take it or leave it. You're a championship player now. That is it. We walk away, we're not coming back, yeah? And if he wants to go to Tottenham, then he can go to Tottenham. Because I think his family prefers him to move to London, yeah? We only want a player that's going to play for the badge. And then we fans, we as fans, remember the back of his shirt, yeah? We want players for commitment and a passion and to help us progress better. James Manson could be that guy. But unless Leicester drop the price down, we're not getting him. Simple as that. 
Well, guys, um, that's it for James Madison. Tell us what you think, guys. Is he worth 55 to 60 million quid? I don't think so, personally. 40 million is enough. That's it. No more, no less. And I'll give him the deadline till the weekend. If we don't hear now from him till the weekend, that is it. The deal should be off. And we will not be wasting any time on any player. So, like, subscribe, and also super chat. Also, become a member for 99p. And if there's anything you want to ask, I'll do my best to reply back. And until then, guys, as always, no way the lights.